What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, family? It's your podcast mentor show. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones. And today I want to just bring the question to your mind. What graphics do I need in order for me to kick off my podcast show? Right. What graphics do I need? As I see the cover art, I see the logo, I see the branding. Do I need all of these graphics? And if I do, it's overwhelming. John, what do I do? Don't worry, my friend. We're going to cover it in today's episode of Your Podcast Mentor. Let's get into the intro. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. Here you will learn how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast. In addition to hearing the latest trends and the latest and greatest things happening in the podcast industry. Are you ready? Family, family, family. So here we are and here we go for another episode of the Your Podcast Mentor Show. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones. And the purpose of this show is ultimately to help you start, to help you launch, and to help you monetize your podcast platform. That's why I'm here. That's the purpose of this show. Right now, I'm on the mission to help 1,000 coaches, speakers, and consultants get that podcast up and get that podcast running. All right. So today is episode eight. We're on episode eight of the Your Podcast Mentor Show. And I didn't even have this in the cards to do this topic, but a gentleman reached out to me. And just as I shared, all of you can do the same thing, right? If you're wanting to ask a question and get it featured on the show, all you have to do is visit right? All you have to do is visit. Let me put it up on the screen. If you're watching, submit your questions here, okay? And you can submit your questions to, you can go to website, jonathanjonespeaks.com forward slash mentor. jonathanjonespeaks.com forward slash mentor. Scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then you will see a orange button. And that orange button will allow you to ask your question okay you get about 90 seconds so say your name and say john my question is boom okay so you can do that at jonathanjonespeaks.com forward slash mentor submit your question for opportunity for it to be featured on the show and i, I was i was online and um general reached out to me he said john what, what what's going on i said what's up brother he said, you know, for you to be a podcast mentor, I'm curious, what do you think about this question? All right. And ultimately, this is going to be the premise of the show. Episode eight. What graphics do I need for my podcast? All right. What graphics do I need for my podcast? And he went on to say this question. And I'm going to give you that question just after. I let you know that if you're not subscribed to our channel, you can go on YouTube and type Jonathan Jones. You can put a dash and then put your podcast mentor and then we should pop right up. All right. Jonathan Jones forward slash your podcast mentor. But the gentleman asked me, he said, he said, this is my first question because he said he had a question. He asked three, but it's all love, though. It's all love. He said, what graphics and collateral graphics would you say most podcasters need? All right. And the thing about these questions is they're so tricky based on philosophy. They're also so tricky based on whoever you follow and whoever you listen to in the podcast space. So the question says, what graphics and collateral graphics would you say most podcasters need? First and foremost, all right. First and foremost, looking at this question, the first graphics that all podcasters need would be a cover art graphic. Okay. John, what's a cover art graphic? A cover art graphic is ultimately just like when you see the cover of a book. Okay. A cover art graphic is going to be the first representation of your show. All right. A cover art graphic is going to be how people look and if they determine if they want to listen or if they don't. OK, so the first graphic that I would say everybody needs is a cover art graphic and cover art graphics can be in the size of 1400 by 1400. 
That's Apple standard to get your podcast cover art approved on Apple. It's 1400 by 1400. If you want to go on the higher end, which ultimately means it would be higher pixels or higher, pix higher pixelation, which would make it a little bit more clear, that would be 3000 by 3000. Okay. So uh, needing that, then you can either have a graphic art friend created for you. You can have somebody on, you know, one of these outsourcing sites like Fiverr.com create it for you. Uh, but it just all determines. You can create it for yourself. You can go on Canva.com and create it for yourself. It just all depends on what your level of expertise is around the graphic space. All right. So that, that would be how I answer that question. The first one you have to have is cover art, because if you don't have a cover art, then Apple's not going to let you publish on their platform or distribute on their platform. Then uh, people aren't going to be able to get attracted to your cover art or your personality through your cover art if it's not seen. Right. How can I like something that I've never seen? How can I enjoy eating something that I've never tasted? If we never see these things, then we won't know what we like. OK, so that would be the first graphic that I say. The second graphic that I would suggest is ultimately a, a thumbnail. Right. A thumbnail is on YouTube to where it's an image that's posted to where people will see this image and then they'll determine if they want to click and then watch the video based on the image that they see. All right. So and that that thumbnail you can use for YouTube or you even can take that same image and use it as a promotional graphic when you post on social media. Right. And I say thumbnail because that's like the hamburger form. So like it's I mean, it's the hot dog form. So it's like a little bit longer. Uh, and that looks like or the dimension of that would be 1280 by 920. OK, so that would be like a thumbnail. So the longer short. So it would be longer in width, but shorter in height. OK. Or uh, if we want to do another promotional graphic for Instagram, then I would say you would make that a post that's 1080 by 1080. OK. And once again, these dimensions that I'm saying, these are the dimension of pixel based on the image. OK, so 1080 by 1080 gives you a, a box. So it fits perfect in the Instagram grid. And if you are promoting an episode, maybe you want to edit a video in that 1080 by 1080 size so that people can see the video and they can see maybe text that you put above the video. OK, OK, good deal. Good deal. Good deal. So cover art. So, so that people, when they see the cover art, they can determine if they want to listen to your podcast. That's the first one. The second one would be a thumbnail. And the thumbnail, like I just covered, is one that allows you to promote via social media. OK, so that answers that first question. But I want to let you all know if you are enjoying this video or if this content is beneficial for you. I would encourage you just to smash that like button and drop a comment down below. I read all the comments. I engage with everyone who engages with the videos and with the content, uh, because without you all, there would be no purpose for me to do this platform. So I want to make sure that it's as beneficial and as value added as it possibly can be. All right. So that answers our first question for the day. The second question that we want to hit on would be how important do you think graphics are in relationship to your podcast brand? All right. How important do I think that graphics are in relation to your podcast brand? I think graphics are very important. And I say that because at the end of the day, the traditional form of podcast is strictly audio content. All right. Traditionally, a podcast was audio and it's audio that you can download and get in a portable device, put it in an MP3 player and listen to it in your phone, listen to it in your car. So understanding that if that's the traditional form of podcast content, that means that we have to find another way to where we can help paint the picture for people. OK, that, that's like asking this question. If I rewind the clock back a few decades. Right. And we talk CDs, you ultimately see the cover of the CD first. So that's the graphic, the promotional graphic. 
And then from seeing that, then you pick up the CD and you say, oh, on the cover, it says Kanye West. So, oh, let me see what Kanye is talking about. But if on the graphic it never said Kanye, then we ultimately would not know. We would not know that this is his music. And if we're, if we're a fan of Kanye West, we wouldn't have picked it up. OK, so I think graphics are important in relation to your podcast because this is a visual way, a visual aesthetic of showing people or painting the picture of what your podcast would be about. OK, so I'm going to say graphics are important, but I also I'm going to say brand colors and brand alignment is important with your graphics. But that will be another topic that I talk about on another day. And then the last question my man asked was, do most podcast logos look the same to you? Do most podcast logos look the same? This is another one of those loaded and tricky questions. And the reason I say that is, to me, most, pod most podcast logos do not look the same because I've probably seen over a couple of hundred of podcast logos. However, determined on based on our environment or based on what we typically search if it be through YouTube, if it be through Spotify, if it be through Google Podcasts or wherever you listen to podcasts, you're going to see a lot of suggestions and recommendations depending on those platforms based on what you've already listened to. In, in some genres, there are some similarities in logos or even in cover art. I, I was talking with um, some individuals I was working with in one of my five-day podcast challenges and I began to scroll down through podcast cover art and I realized that in the wellness and fitness space the majority of the cover art are green the majority of the cover art the people are showing their bodies the majority of the cover art around fitness you see people flexing and showing muscle so with certain genres there might be some similarities right however across the board no to me personally i don't think all of the logos look the same that's for me personally for you it might be different but to answer your question do most podcast logos look the same to jonathan jones no they do not because i'm the podcast mentor so i've studied and looked at a lot more logos for minutes and hours longer than a lot of other people so that's my thought there okay now as we get ready to wrap this episode up i want to remind you all this okay if you got value from this episode and you have a friend that's looking to start a podcast they want to learn more information about podcasting share this episode with a friend okay just share this episode with a friend and that would be so much value added to me in the mission of helping 1,000 speakers, coaches, and consultants start, launch, and monetize their very own podcast, all right? So I just ask you to share this with a friend. And if you've already shared it with a friend, I would ask you just to consider leaving a helpful Apple review, okay? Going on to Apple and then giving it five stars and then just writing a little takeaway or what was added to your life by way of the podcast and then leave your name down at the bottom and even comment your show if you have one because i would love to shout you out okay so share it with a friend if it was beneficial and like i said the focus of today's episode was ultimately to address what graphics do i need for my podcast so this is the recap part jonathan jones okay me personally because like i said it depends on philosophy and it depends on who you're listening to or who you follow. But I said that when it comes to collateral graphics for your podcast, you need a cover art graphic and you at least need one promo graphic, right? And with that promo graphic, it can be general, just stating your podcast name, or you can have it created to where it's a template to where you can change out episode numbers. You can change out the title of episodes and then continue to recycle that graphic. All right. The second question my man asked was, how important are graphics in relation to a podcast brand? I think they're very important because you create the visual aesthetic for an individual. But I also said that podcast branding colors and graphics, they go hand in hand. 
We'll talk about that on another episode. And then last but not least, do most podcast logos look the same? I said for me personally, they do not. However, for some other individuals, they actually may. But family, I would encourage you uh, just continue to rock with us. And like I said before, if you have any questions, submit those at jonathanjonespeaks.com forward slash mentor. Scroll down to the bottom and there you can ask your question and then hopefully get it featured on the show. But family, until next time, I just want you to remember that this is your podcast mentor with Jonathan Jones. And the focus of this show, focus of this show, it goes just like this. I'm here to help you establish your platform so that you can profit with purpose from your podcast. Take care, family. God bless. And I'll see you soon.